In this video, we're going to learn how to use multi-line string literals in C. So in C, we can define a string literal across multiple lines. This can be useful if the string literal is very large. So for example, let's declare a car ray B. And we'll store into this car ray the string, a simple string. Then we'll output the string with printf and percent %s to output a string, followed by a couple new lines, and we'll have b as the second argument to output the string stored in b. If we save the program and compile it and run it, we'll get here a simple string. Now we could define a longer string literal. We could, for example, have another sentence in the string. Now at some point though, our source code is going to look awkward if we have one line that's extremely long we tend to limit our source code to some character width, like 80 or 120. But we can't split a string across multiple lines by just hitting enter. For example, if we hit enter here and we save the program and try to compile it, we'll get error, expect that expression. What we can do though is put a double quote here and a double quote here. This will allow us to define a multi-line string literal, where this here is really defining a single string, but it's defined across multiple lines. So if we save the program now and compile it, it's going to be okay. We can run it, and now we'll get here a simple string and then another sentence in the string. Now, even though in the source code, in the text editor, there's a new line character here, in the string between the period character and the capital A character, there is no new line character. It's just one continuous string. That's why here we have a simple string, period, and then another sentence in the string. If we did wanna have new line characters in the string, we could manually insert them. So we could have here, for example, backslash N for a new line character. Then if we save the program and compile it and run it, we'll get another sentence in the string on a new line. Now we could have additional lines in our multi-line string literal. So we could have here a third sentence and maybe a fourth sentence. And maybe we'll put new lines at the end of each sentence. So we'll have new line and then new line and new line. And if we save the program and compile it, and run it, we'll find that this is going to work as well. So this is how we can use multi-line string literals in C. Check out PortfolioCourses.com, where we'll help you build a portfolio that will impress employers, including courses to help you develop C programming projects.